All right, we have a breaking development. Srinivas BB uh, has said to CNN News 18, and I quote, I have already filed a defamation case against her. She's like my sister. Someone else is forcing her to say these things. So that is a quote that's coming in from Srinivas amid all of the allegations against him. Now remember, when it comes to the allegations, what uh, Ankita Datta has essentially said is that she was discriminated on the basis of her gender. And one other big statement that she's made is that Congress, whatever complaints have been put out by her, because she, as, as we mentioned, is reportedly the only one who has come to light with these allegations. And she was also said that uh, there are other women leaders within the party who are facing the same discrimination. But another big statement is that the complaints are falling on deaf ears and that the Congress has not taken any action. We are crossing over to CNN News 18, Shereen Elizabeth, for more on this. Shereen, big statement coming in from Srinivas saying that I've already filed a defamation case against her. She's like my sister. Someone else is forcing her to say these things. Uh, well, in fact, you also pointed out that uh, because there are, in fact, uh, you know, uh, uh, the membership drive is, in fact, going on across the country as far as Indian Youth Congress is concerned. And regarding, uh, you know, those uh, designations being given to uh, some of uh, the working members, uh, it could be because uh, she was not really considered for any particular post, uh, could be the reason why she's making such allegation. But as far as uh, um, the, the woman is concerned, she has in fact been saying that for past six months, uh, Srinivasan J, uh, Regio Padi Srinivasan BV uh, has in fact been harassing her and uh, not just him, but also the Assam in charge, Vardhan Yadav is also something, uh, someone who she has named uh, in this harassment case. Now, uh, what we are seeing is that Srinivasan BV has in fact uh, filed a defamation case against uh, this woman saying that uh, this is nothing, but she, someone is forcing her to say that. And similarly, the same statement of the court that has in fact been given by Srinivasan BV to News 18, CNN News 18 also says uh, that she, he has filed a defamation case and now the matter is sub -judice. He doesn't want to really add on to anything, but also maintains that she has always been a sister and someone else is in fact forcing her to make such a statement and also indicating that could BJP could be behind this and in coming days you will get to know what really is her motive to make such allegations. All right, Shireen, thank you so much for joining us and giving us more context on that statement. We're also going to listen in to what Angita Datta had to say. A message went viral where you mentioned that Indian Youth Congress president has continuously harassed me and was discriminating on the basis of my gender. My values and education does not allow me. So, uh, as you have already stated that it was a continuous harassment. First of all, why now? See, it was a continuous harassment and I was expecting uh, that some inquiry committee would be initiated and uh, something should have been done about it. And uh, uh, I'm appalled that till now no concrete decision has been taken on it. You want to remove me from the party, you remove me. You want to keep him, you keep him. But something had to be done. So it all began uh, when, uh, uh, when uh, you know, when I was in Chhattisgarh in Raipur. Uh, so I was coming out of Mayfair and uh, I was going in Mayfair and Srinivasji was coming inside Mayfair. And uh, I, uh, we ex exchanged uh, notes and then suddenly he tells me, Tum kya pike? All right, we're going to continue to track the developments in that story. Right now, though, we're heading into a very short break. Do stay with us for more. pilot and, and yourself uh, are left with no other option uh, but to resort to measures like this. Absolutely. 